Uh, we have also developed another tool called Circles on BRAP. Uh, so if you want to know more about this, you can check out the link below. Uh, what it does is that when we produce the BRAP from the previous tool, which was this one, uh, we can give it to the polysurface input. Uh, there is a target length. So when we decrease that, it's going to give us more circles. And when I increase it, it's going to give us uh, less. Uh, we can define a multiplication for the radiuses. So if I make that, it's going to be smaller and bigger. Uh, then there is also something called um, an inclusion. So if I decrease that, you can see it's going to give us circles around the border, which is somehow useful if you want to add those circles around it. And if I just decrease that, you can see more of them here on the border. And if you just increase this number, it's going to go out from the group. Okay. And then is a trim true or false. So if I just hit this false, it's not going to run. Uh, maybe you just want to see the circles. So if I give this to the circles and go here and turn this preview a little bit down, uh, this is going to be faster. And you can just change this faster too. Uh, you can have also the end gones, which is going to be something like this. And if, you, if I increase that, you can see that this is going to go also disappear. So I can have this ngons. And there is an ngon2, which is going to be the borders, something similar to this. And finally, if you want the result, which is going to be here, you just hit this true button and it's going to run. Uh, if you want to give it uh, maybe some thickness, uh, if you want to convert that into a solid, you can simply use the Pufferfish plugin surface and use this offset surface component and give it to here and just give this a distance uh, if you want it to be both side for example i can say 0 0.2 turn this off or disable it uh, give it to the distance on both side and make this for example uh, minus x divided by 2 and x divided by 2 that is going to give us a complete thickness with this number. So if I just turn it on again, it's going to run and this surface is going to be at the middle of the solid. Uh, the create solid uh, has to be true. So remember to check that out too. And then if I just bake this, uh, you can see that you will have the solid and the surface is at the middle. And that is going to be the surface we have solid we have we can use it in our project uh, okay I'm going to explain uh, this uh, algorithm step by step uh, how we're going to produce the final results and uh, learn how to make the n-gons put them into two groups uh, put the circles and then uh, bring them back on the poly surfaces and then just make the holes uh, okay let's get started and learn this algorithm step by step